Okay, this how-to video is gonna go through how to add an RF trace using the Cadence PCB tools. So you could do this manually just by drawing a shape using the polygon um, or the rectangular shapes that you want. Um, you could route a C line, so just use the standard add connect command, set the track thickness that you need for an RF trace thickness, and then route manually using the arcs, the lines, the mitres, or we can actually use the RF trace option. So if we look under the route menu, we have something called um, add RF trace. So I can then uh, get my options pane to, to show the, the new settings. So I've got effectively um, my default active and alternative layers uh, to change layers if I wanted to add a VAR, etc. what VAR I want to use, and this is based on the net. I've got some different bend types, so things like square, mitered, or curved for how I want the corners to be. Um, a width transition mode, so it actually trans, uh, transition the width or the taper length. Uh, so if I change the taper length, I can specify a value here. Uh, or you can have it transitioned uh, using a round. I'm just going to leave the default as none. This is the, the track thickness or the, the shape thickness. The arc radius, let's maybe drop that down to one. I've got the lock angle like you have, 90 or 45. Um, and I've got things like snap to connect point, inherit the width, which would inherit at the width of the, the pin, or I can taper the connect line. So let's taper the connect line to the pin. Uh, so what we'll do here is just to zoom in here. We'll click on the pin. You can see I get this kind of taper mode. We'll just come down. Drop it down onto the pin there. It tapers it into the pin thickness. Gives me a nice kind of shape. Now this shape is actually fixed. So if I try to delete this shape um, using the delete command, make sure shapes are enabled, click on that, um, it's actually fixing it. So what it's doing is it's locking this shape uh, when you need to do it. So if you did need to get rid of it, you can just use the unfix command and unfix the shape. Um, let's go and add another one. So root and add our trace to my options pane uh, I don't want to do that one this time so let's just click on and we'll maybe do some arcs and you can change the settings as you're going along but you know you kind of get the idea of what you need to do from an RH trait tra point of view let's just oops that get it lined up a bit more better that then has the shape it also inherits the connection line so the net the shape is effectively inherited the net name um, and we're good to go from an RF trace point of view 